Hey, what's going on? Nelson with Chess Vibes. Welcome to episode four in High Probability Opening Traps. In this video, I'm going to show you a trap that you can play as white in the Sicilian defense that 9,000 players have fallen for. Let's take a look. So we have e4, c5, knight f3, and d6. Now the main line in the Sicilian defense at this point is to play d4, and black will capture it, you'll capture it, and then some other stuff will happen. The move you can play is c3. The idea is you'd like to play d4 and get a really strong center and be able to recapture with a pawn rather than your knight. So then you'll have two pawns really just controlling all these, these center squares. Now one disadvantage sometimes by playing the move c3 is that it takes away the square from your knight. What that means is if this pawn becomes under attack, you can't defend it with your knight on c3 like you normally would be able to. So most of the time, black will play knight to f6 to try to take advantage of that and attack your pawn. But this is where you can set the trap. You play bishop to e2, completely ignoring that this knight can just take your pawn. And surprisingly, 9,000 players don't even realize what's going on and they just capture the pawn. So I'll give you five seconds, see if you can figure out what is our plan behind giving away this pawn for free. If you said queen a4, congratulations, that is the move. We have a nice little fork here, so black has to deal with the check, and then we just pick up the knight. We got ourselves a free piece just like that. Now, I know some people watching this are probably thinking, well, what if they don't take the pawn on e4? Are you just in a bad position? Well, let's go back and look. So after we play bishop e2, let's say they don't take the pawn and they play knight to c6. Now, knight to c6 is a pretty good move because it blocks off that diagonal, and it also gains control of these center squares. But what you can do is set another trap by playing d4. Because now it really looks like this pawn is just sitting there for the taking, right? But after they capture, you have this really sneaky move d5. And you're just attacking the knight, so they gotta save their knight. So let's say they move it, I don't know, to e5. And guess what our move is now? That's right, queen a4 yet again with the same fork that we had before. Check, they gotta deal with it, bishop d7, and boom. You got a free piece. So even if they don't fall for it right away and they play knight c6, you can still play d4 with ideas of playing d5 and then you still have this fork at, all, at the end of all that. Well, there you have it, sneaky little line you can play against the Sicilian defense. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching and take care.